I was in a room at number two, um, right above the uh, midpoint of the car, um, right across from the, the attendant's, uh, the car attendant's room, um, basically right by the bathroom. Um, when the car flipped, it, I was actually facing the sky, so that was good. Um, I was laying down in my, in my compartment on a bed, um, so luckily I just tumbled. Um, just in the room. I heard a loud bang and then the car tipped and all I could think was oh shit oh oh crap oh crap oh crap oh crap and we fell over. Um, I uh, was in my I just stayed in my room um, and was talking to people below me. I had my phone and I called 911 um, and let the operator know where we were because I had luckily had signal and was able to bring up Google Maps and tell them exactly where the train basically where the train fell by the streets. Um, so, and then we, I was able to pop my window out and climb out and then help other people up. And then we sat um, until we got some ladders and we got people down, we got people down uh, and that was it. So you were, you got, you guys were on top of the um, flipped cars? Um, I was, the, we had people on the bottom um, and we got them, we got them out. There was a couple that kind of got buried in some, in some gravel. Um, she what they weren't injured well they were injured um, they went to the hospital actually I think um, but not seriously they were ambulatory when when we got up um, just he had a head wound and it was bleeding but nothing um, and I grabbed my grabbed my my mattress pad and my my pillows and, and gave them out and gave some water and then just helped grab water a case of water and just walked up and down and gave people water and talked to people as Uh, about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. And none of you guys were worried about, you know, something exploding or anything like that? No, no. Um, mostly because um, we were at least the midpoint back and the um, engines were still either on the track or they were up, upright. So it did not look like they were seriously damaged. Um, um, where, where were you coming from? I was coming from Chicago. So. And where were you headed to? Portland. Okay, oh yeah, you guys, the Portland, that Portland train, or the cars, they were the ones that were affected the most, correct? Yes, because we were the rear, we were the rear trains. So, and they were actually separated probably by a quarter mile from the rest of the, the rest of the trains that was derailed. Um, the observation car um, was, was the one that was most damaged and had the most casualties. Um, and that was the, the forward most one that had flipped on its side. Um, the car ahead of that, which I think was the dining car, was, or coach car, was, was actually um, can't, just a little cantilevered over um, off the tracks, but still upright. And the rest of the train was upright. Okay, so when you got, I mean, obviously that triggered your kind of your fight or flight mode at that point. So when you got out and you were out there and you were safe and you realized like, hey, I didn't, yeah. Things didn't happen. Today. <laughs> yeah. What? What were those emotions? What were you feeling? Like? Um. Really, I didn't. Ha I was just like make sure everybody was okay. Um. I wasn't worried too much. Um. Since I, I was fine. Um. It was just what get get. Let's get down off the train. Let's make sure everybody's okay. I just want to get all my stuff out of my compartment. Um. So I have it with me. Um. Made sure I had my meds and everything and. Uh, and just help people get up and out. Um, so some people needed help out of their out of their windows um, to get on the top of the roof, um, just because they're elderly and, and a little larger. So um, and help them up. So and I just and I let every, let my my uh, my girlfriend know that I was in a train derailment. I, I think that was the that was the first thing after nine one one. Actually, I did that before I called nine one one. I said, "Hey, I was just in a train derailment." Called nine one one, and then I was texting her, and then. Talk to her after I got down, and then let my uh, family know. So, have you have you talked to people around here? Are they being able to contact their family and let uh, them know that they're okay? I think everybody is because everybody's been willing to, to either let lend people their phone or chargers or or whatever they need. So everybody's been really good about about helping out. And have you guys gotten word on what you, what's going to happen tonight? Are you staying here? Um, we are actually waiting for Burlington Northern to release us. Um, once that happens, then we'll find out what is, what's going on. Um, I'm lucky again, once again, 
So I'm prepared to have my camping mattress with me. I have, I'm, I'm ready to, you know, to lay, lay my head down wherever, so. And were you, were you alone on this trip? Yes, I am. Yeah. And have you ridden with Amtrak prior? Yes, I have. I, I love doing long distance trip, trips from them as a vacation. So I'll, I actually live in DC and I flew to Chicago to get on the train to go to Portland, so. No, I think I think that's everything. I'm just I'm glad that as many people are okay as they are. So, and it, it could have been much worse. So.